Ah, oh, you're a great crowd. You're absolutely great. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, we are Fubuki Daiko. Fubuki literally means blizzard. Taiko or Daiko literally means drums. Uh, being based in Winnipeg, we named our group after the weather that we always get. Uh, this first piece that we play for you was original composition. The piece was called Yokoso, and Yokoso literally means welcome, and it was uh, co-written by myself and my wife Naomi. She's a woman with a really nice arms. And uh, it was um, partially inspired by a group of grade 12 Grandview uh, Manitoba uh, students uh, when we were doing artist in schools residency. Uh, this next piece we're going to be playing for you is another original composition re called Hapa. And Hapa was written by a friend of ours, his name is Michael Stecky, uh, originally from Winnipeg but now uh, in uh, Toronto. Hapa is a term used to, mention, to describe someone of missed racial ancestry. Uh, Naomi is a Hapa, her mom is Japanese Canadian and her dad is French Canadian. Uh, also, Giselle is, uh, is Hapa as well. Uh, her mom is uh, Finnish Canadian and her dad was a Chinese Canadian. Uh, so, like the term, uh, this music is uh, a bit of a mixture of a lot of different backgrounds. And um, our group, we kind of consider this as a hapa as well. You know, I'm uh, full Japanese, Naomi is part Japanese. We also have some other uh, ethnic backgrounds of Finnish, uh, Chinese, uh, Scottish, English, but we're all 100% Canadian. We hope you enjoy it. This is Hapa. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Um, while we're just doing our, our final set change, uh, I thought I'd take a moment just to tell you about some of the arts education programs that we've been involved in. Uh, the main one really is the Artists in the School program. We've been going to uh, teach kids in schools in Winnipeg and in rural Manitoba for almost the last 20 years now, working with kids from kindergarten uh, to grade 12. Uh, we've also worked with university students, although um, less in Canada, more in the US with that. Uh, we really enjoy that component of what we do. It's a nice balance to the performing. Uh, the teaching and the working with the kids is um, really fulfilling for us and satisfying. We can learn pretty much almost everything is to know about a kid within 15 minutes of drumming with them and tell what kind of grown-up they're going to be, probably. So it's a, it's a really interesting and fun thing to do. Um, we uh, were just uh, back from Rosenfeld. We came from Rosenfeld School directly to here, to Brandon for this showcase. And um, we have a few other um, artists in the schools programs lined up in rural Manitoba for this year. If you happen to be near these communities, feel free to come by and um, see what we do with the kids or see our school performance. We open up the first day usually with a school show. Although for these school shows, they will be done with two people, um, Hiroshi and myself. Uh, do the rural school shows with the two, two of us. So we're going to be in uh, Swan River, Ethelbert, and Plumas are the areas we're going to. In uh, the following school year, we have um, uh, potential bookings in Bertle, in um, the Paw, Gretna, Morris, and in Brandon, right here. So you're welcome to come and uh, see one of those shows anytime you like. Um, we... Oh, you're right here. Fantastic. I'll let Hiroshi tell you some more. I'll just go out to our uh, last piece uh, for this afternoon. Uh, this piece is called In the Weeds, and In the Weeds is a term used in, uh, normally in the restaurant industry. It also happened to be a term that uh, I uh, ended up using uh, when I was working as ambulance dispatcher in San Francisco. And the term is used whenever everything is just going really way crazy, and you're just feeling way over your head, and you just feel like you're totally in the weeds. Uh, being overwhelmed. And at the time that uh, I wrote this piece, it was a time when things were just going really crazy. And so uh, that's how I came up with this title. Um, it starts off uh, fairly, it's fairly sedate, not sedate, but uh, um, fairly normal, but then it goes into some wild and crazy motions. Uh, there's this one part in the middle of the song where there's a little bit of a brief pause, and it's a sort of an homage to a traditional Japanese music. In traditional Japanese music, you have four parts, which is Joha Kyu Zanshin, which means slow, fast, faster, and stop. And it's this stop that uh, we always like to uh, create, this little, little space. And you'll notice that in one of our sections in the middle. Uh, this is uh, In the Weeds. Thank you very much, uh, and we uh, look forward to uh, seeing you at the contact booth. We are Fubuki Daiko. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Okay, it's time for some good old school Japanese beatbox called Kuchishoga Yo! 
don't say, don't, 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 kind of, kind of, don't, don't, kind of, don't, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't, 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 take it then, take it, take it, ten, take it, take it, ten, take it, take it, take it, take ten, don't, 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 kind of, kind of, don't, 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 I say, don't call me he, don't call me she, just come by my name, it's Hiroshi, I'm like the greatest rapper in history, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Introducing our taiko band. Bruce is a ball guy from Japan. Naomi's arms gets lots of fans. Giselle is a woman. <laughs> Don't call her a man. All right. Repeat after me. Say, dogo dogo don. Say, dogo dogo don. Say, dogo 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 dogo. Say, dogo 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 dogo. Each knee, each knee, son, she. physicality, the precision, the technique of that, and the theatrics alone. Uh, just amazing, Naomi. Where does that training, t tell me about the training program for that. Um, we have traditional training in San Francisco. Our teacher, Grandmaster Seiji Tanaka, he brought this kind of drumming to North America 45 years ago. And it's very much based in martial arts principles. So, um, Lots of repetition, lots of doing things over and over and over, trying to perfect it. Very much the wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi kind of concept. And um, so that's our grounding. Um, the other aspect to that is quite a spiritual component where you're supposed to lose your ego and just uh, sort of merge with the universe. It sounds kind of hokey, but 
it works and uh, draw on additional energy. So ironically, doing a showcase is kind of the opposite thing because the goal is to sort of impress the audience and convince them to book you. But if you go there mentally in your head when you do this, it's the wrong state of mind to be in. So the idea is just to um, yeah, lose your ego and connect with the drum, the other drummers, the audience, and the universe. Yeah, the precision is amazing. The, now, you say that uh, this, is, I mean, it's really East meets West kind of uh, theatrics, and as well as the pieces themselves. These are original pieces, most of the yeah. pieces that you do. Tell us about how is that created? Do you set them on paper? How do you learn that? There is no written notation for this kind of music. It's an oral tradition, like Indian drumming, where there's sounds you say with your voice. So when Hinoshi was doing his rap and singing, you know, don, tsuku, don, kara, kara, don, like those, are, that's the music for us. Uh, we learn it orally, and then we pass it on that way. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we, we learn it by singing it first, I guess, and then we play it on, on the drums. There was another part to your question that I already forget. Oh, to create, right. So, uh, we, there, the th uh, three of us, Bruce, myself, and Hiroshi, are the main composers in the group, and we all approach composing the music differently. Uh, Hiroshi and Bruce are really drawn to certain rhythms, maybe that they've experienced growing up. Bruce is a big Led Zeppelin fan, so that kind of encroaches in some of his music. Hiroshi grew up in uh, the U.S., so funk, hip-hop, that's what he grew up with. Um, so they take a rhythm, and then they build on that. For me, uh, I go by the movement first. I visualize what I want to happen and how I want the body to move. However the rhythm fits into that is how it fits. And when I compose, I don't write anything down. I keep it in my head because I, I've come to believe that if something doesn't stay with me, it wasn't worth keeping. We talk about, uh, you were mentioning about the school program and the artists in the school program here in Manitoba. Tell us about the other shows that you do and what kind of show options that you would have um, for other kinds of bookings. So because what we do is sort of unique and unusual, there's lots of different performance opportunities that we've had besides just in theaters. Of course, when we've toured throughout Saskatchewan, for example, we played in a lot of auditoriums, um, and, you know, where the lighting guy was a 14-year-old who turned the switch on and off, and we're very used to that kind of a setup, uh, setting up almost anywhere. Um, we can perform with as few as two people, or as many as six. There's actually six in our regular ensemble that we rehearse with all the time, and um, the show can be more or less sort of focus on the educational aspect of it. We do master classes sometimes in universities where we actually teach the audience to play a bit and have them come up on drums. We do hands-on workshops where everyone's sort of playing a, a substitute drum at the same time. And, uh, you know, we've played um, at a lot of corporate events um, and um, you, you name it. We've played in, you know, I, I've played in Carnegie Hall and I've played on a reclaimed uh, land that was a garbage dump site, so everything. So you're very versatile. Excellent. And well, that's wonderful to know. And I want to thank you so much. I feel terrible for making you talk so much after such a workout. But thank you for sharing that information with all of us. I think we're all interested in that. Nice to have you back in Brandon. And uh, we'll follow you through the school system. But hopefully we'll see you in other venues as well. Everyone, this is Naomi again. Fabuki Daiko.